What's up, everybody? Dre back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about another Ready or Not newsletter that just came out today, brought to us by the very generous community manager team at Void Interactive. I'm actually not sure who's a part of the team. I just know that Gwyn and Kaminsky are kind of the ones that are doing it, but yeah. The name of this newsletter is called Club and Valley Updates, as it shows a picture of the new club from the dance floor perspective. I guess the name of this club is called The Prism because it's so square. I don't know. Let's hop in and find out. Howdy, gamers. Welcome to the 31st edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. This time around, we'll be taking a deeper look at Club and Valley, both of which have progressed significantly in recent weeks. We finally got a name for this map, the Prism Nightclub. Pulsing lights and pounding music, strong drinks and intoxicating vibes, the promise of something more within, a crowded dance floor, left vacant and streaked with blood, pain and chaos, bring an end to it. And of course, we got the first picture that we just saw in the very title screen right there. So there's definitely like some sort of laser beams and stuff, neon light show going on. So so yeah, this is like the front of the dance floor here. You got the two doors and that big slit that's right there. But it looks like we actually got some like side stuff going on. That is a weird looking mannequin off to the right there. There's actually another mannequin to the far left there too. Lights at the very top. Balconies, which I don't think those were there before in the previous one. You see like a little yellow insignia in the door on the right there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's like an advertisement that's playing in the background to the left over there next to that mannequin. You can barely read what that says. Toxicity, trans... Tri I don't know what that says. Got some interesting patterns on the roof there on the balconies. A lot of these like neon signs with some sort of substance coming out of them. Logos coming out everywhere. That logo doesn't really match the prism, but who knows? I was hearing some people say that this could contain the anal staircase, but I mean, it's possible. I think it would definitely make more sense for it to be here rather than anywhere else. Unless they have like a different club that I don't know about, but I guess we'll see. And that's pretty much all I can really say about this. There's not like, anything too eye-catching for me you guys see anything let me know underneath the picture it says the heart of the club the dance floor i would really like to see what their freaking dancing animations are but i doubt they're gonna have any moving on to the next picture here we got also club this is like probably one of the back rooms that we've actually seen in the background here we can actually see one of the dancers dead on the floor right there bottom left it looks like neon lights that are kind of forming into the shape of a hand over a face underneath a face prism in the middle and uh, something on the right. Let's see what that looks like. It kind of looks like the shape of someone that's like getting humped, but I can't say for sure. It's a lot of like neon lights on the floor, or maybe that's just like hump stains or something. No idea. But I like the way that this looks. TV on the right that says Thirsty Thursdays. Every Thursday of December, gates open at 9 p.m. Cool. There's also a couple of tipped over tables here, a couple of bar stools that are kind of out in the open or tipped over. I don't see that many blood stains, but it does look like some of the glass. See, oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, there is some blood stains right there but it's kind of like or i don't know if that's a blood stain or if that's like a reflection i think that's a reflection but it's kind of weird looking on the wood there but underneath the picture it says the lounge an uneasy stillness lingers all right moving on to the next one we got what looks like a dungeon here oh that outline on the left there kind of looks like uh, something that might not be safe for you two, but i'll probably let it show because it's not an actual person's thing but yeah there's a mannequin which i feel uh, those mannequins are going to be freaking weird when i go past them and all that shit dead bodies over there table flipped over with a bunch of shell casings everywhere and glass this wall on the right that's a weird looking design i gotta say it's like a bunch of the lights were actually either shot out or blown out i can't tell there's some text above that door over there but i can't read it definitely an interesting little hallway that's right here i feel like i've seen this one in the map itself but i just can't pinpoint where it is underneath this picture is another picture this looks like it's the front side like there, there's an actual outside that maybe is either the back side or the front side here i can't say for sure this looks Looks like it would be the front here, just judging by the holes that lock people off. A lot of dead people here, riddled with holes. We got a car on the right. I'm assuming that's like an ambulance, maybe. I have to wonder if this is like the entrance or if it's an entrance to like another part of a building or something. Because this is kind of like the first time we've actually seen Club from the outside. But either way, that's freaking interesting. That's some nice graffiti that they got on the side there. I'd like to see like a full PNG of that. What it looks like. Eat me. I think that's the only thing that I can see. Underneath the picture, it says death and destruction in a place. Of joy and respite. Well, those two pictures were pretty interesting. Let's uh, move on to the next thing here then. We've got the Valley of the Dolls map. A poolside party under the warm rays of the Losuna's sun. A birthday and all presents money can buy. A dark secret waiting for you to bring it to the light. First picture we got the outskirts of the backside of the very nice looking California house here. Suburban upper class house. And we got the stage here. We got like two pinatas over there and here. A bunch of balloons and it's a nice looking table 
table right there. I definitely said something like that outside. Hey, look, you got one of those like little poppers right there. Cheap little poppers. It's like a big wall on the left side right here with a bunch of like foliage just coming down off of it. That's just like every wall that I've seen in freaking California just with foliage growing over it or uh, plants, my bad. Uh, looks like the windows have a lot of curtains on them. That's like a lot of freaking glass windows, by the way. Just wanted to point that out. I've never really noticed that much until I looked at this, but I would definitely not want a house with that many windows. That's like too revealing if you ask me. For a place that has a dark secret, in my opinion. This seems like a lot of stuff for just like one person and I don't see that many freaking patrons. Like maybe they all ran inside or ran away. Can't say for sure, but uh, let's move on to the next thing here. Underneath this picture is a better viewing of the house here. It looks like a very nice house. Not gonna lie. It looks like some textures are showing in on the left side there though. This three story has a freaking basement with more foliage coming over the side. You got a bunch of trees there, bushes. Again, a lot of glass windows. Again, if I was trying to hide something, I feel like I wouldn't have that many glass windows, but okay. I imagine that dark secret is probably gonna be in the basement because we've already kind of heard some funky stuff in uh, this level area with like the random sex noise and weird uh, radio static noises. I don't really have too much to say about this because I feel like I've like looked at this map like multiple times now. Uh, actually, there is like a building in the background right behind where we spawn pretty much. So that's kind of new. I'm definitely curious to see how this is going to turn out when it's finally done. But I've gone through this map like multiple times so I kind of already know what to expect for the most part. At least in terms of the layout, I wonder what's going to be new with like the models and what stuff for us is there to uncover. That would definitely be interesting. Underneath the picture it says decadence and excess. Oh, what could that mean? Uh, decadence. Moral or cultural decline as characterized by excessive indulgence in pleasure or luxury. Luxurious self-indulgence. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. What if the reason why there's not a fuck ton of people is because like all of this is just for like one person and not really anybody else. That would make a lot of sense. Like he made all this stuff just for him and not a whole lot of people were obviously there. I guess that would make sense. You look at a party and you think there'd be like multiple people here, especially with all this stuff here, right? But what if it's all just for one person and there's like nobody else? Hmm. Well, anyways, let's move on to the next thing here. This picture shows the front of the house here where we usually spawn in and walk through. There's like a little arrow here that's pointing here, which I'm assuming is just for party guests. Maybe like you have to go this way to get to the backside, I'm assuming, which I think that's usually where it's supposed to go. I just noticed that there's like this roof up here before because I don't think we were able to go on top of the roof, but it looks like we're going to be able to. It's a very nice looking house though. I'd definitely like to have something like this, but not with that many fucking windows. More foliage on the right. Looks like we've got some sort of bench there. I don't remember if that was there or not, but yeah, definitely a lot more details than the current map that we have. Underneath this picture is a bar. Oh yeah, there is a bar in this map. The map is not like big. It's more vertical than big, but yeah, this definitely did have a bar, I remember, and a pool table. I'm trying to read what it says on that bar there. I'm not sure what it says on that bar. And it's in cursive. God damn it. It's a very nice looking bar. Got a bunch of stools and chairs and stuff to make like a cool little party going on here. But again, it definitely does feel very empty. Big house, not too many people. Underneath these two pictures, it says the entrance and bar, respectively. These folks are living the life. That would be very nice. Underneath this is another picture of the area where the stairs is. There's like a big like square thing. If I get the time, I'll definitely show it off in a video. Actually, I think I already have a recording of it, but yeah. This is definitely different because I remember this having a lot more stuff in it, but it looks like they cleared it out and just put like a bunch of statues right here. Statues of what? I guess a rock? Two rocks? Two weird looking rocks maybe? Lava rocks or something? There's this white statue that's off to the right here that kind of resembles a female figure, which is probably foreshadowing if I had to guess. That is a weird freaking painting up there. What the hell is that? That looks like somebody's trapped in like some sort of cocoon or some shit. It's an interesting light light though. But yeah, this definitely feels a lot more open than the one that we played in currently. And I think those doors are different too. All right, moving on to the next thing here. Uh, okay. So this is not the valley or the club map. This is actually the penthouse, a more updated version of the penthouse. According to the developers, this was posted by accident, but at least we know that this is a more updated version of the penthouse. One of my subscribers actually posted the original picture of the current one and this fish over here on the wall is not there and this uh what do you call it life preserver is not on the wall over here i don't believe there might be a couple more differences but i'm not paying too much attention to it but yeah this is definitely a more updated version of uh, the penthouse and not the valley of the dolls or the prism club i think that's the first time i've actually seen a mistake on a newsletter before i've definitely seen typos but not a pick of like the wrong area but anyways i 
underneath the pictures it says an abstract art gallery and a themed sitting room what else do you need so i'm assuming the bottom picture was supposed to be a sitting room i have no idea what part of the house that was supposed to be but it's interesting what that would have been if they had actually showed that picture pushing on to the last thing here in conclusion this concludes our 31st bi-weekly briefing showcasing club and valley as they get closer to their final forms please tune in next time for more development news and keep an eye out for our social media and that pretty much does it for the newsletter not too bad they're showing off maps that we've already seen before but like obviously getting a little more in depth with them more updated with better textures and more assets obviously like i played through most of these and i'm not seeing too much that's different aside from it being updated of course and uh yeah so what are your guys' thoughts let me know what you think down below because i'm gonna end the video here if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like ready or not then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or hop on that join button that's underneath the video if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that video so that you can get more content on ready or not or any other game that i decide to cover with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye